This video covers assembly of the 785 gear rack kit. For this project you will need a 764 inch hex key, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. For the first step we're going to attach the servo plate to the top of the servo. So to do that we will slide the servo plate through the servo wire so that it comes in through the bottom of the servo. And it'll go up right like that and then we're going to use the 5 16 inch socket head screws and number 6 washers to fasten that together. And once we finish that, we need to add the gear to the top of the servo. And we'll just use a Phillips head screwdriver to finish that off. All right, once that's done, we're gonna put that off to the side and we'll move on to the next step. The first step will be to combine the plastic piece with the dual side mount using the quarter inch socket head screws and these dual side mounts are going to go in this hole here and this hole here. <clears throat> and then we will add the hub mount to the top Again, using quarter inch socket head screws. And once you have that together, we're going to add the other plastic piece to the other side. Alright, once we have that together, in uh, each of these holes we have on the sides, we're going to add the plastic beam gear rack followed by the aluminum beam. And we're going to connect those two using a 5 8 inch socket head screw and a number 6 washer. And on the other side of that, we're going to connect them using a lock nut. And this is where you're going to use your pair of pliers. And we'll do that for the other side. And once you have that one together, you're going to do the exact same side for the other hole. And final step, you want to center these. And then they'll just slide right over the servo. And you're going to use a quarter inch socket head screws to fasten those in place. And there you have it. If you have any questions about this project, feel free to contact us at tech at servocity.com. And as always, thank you for watching.